Welcome to Ranger Rob Has Your Back, a show that features your business, your services, your products. On Ranger Rob Has Your Back, you are the star. Let Ranger Rob be your advocate. Let's get started. This video is made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available on Amazon right now. Hello, my friends, and welcome to Ranger Rob Has Your Back, where you're the star. And today we have a great interview with a good friend of mine that runs a show called Praise the Lord. His name is Don Suhan. And uh, I think you'll really enjoy this man. He is uh, very knowledgeable, has a great Christian um, show that he uh, syndicates with us on Good Talk Radio and uh, does a lot more than that. So please sit back, grab a cup of coffee and let's enjoy an interview with Don Suhan. Hey everyone, I have a good friend of mine here, Don Suhan. And Don Suhan is the host, the producer of a great show on Good Talk Radio called Praise the Lord. How are you today? Well, I'm just fine, Rob. Uh, thank you so very much for inviting me to join you today here. Oh, no problem. You, uh, uh, We met probably a year and a half ago, I would say, something like that. And um, what I was looking for is I wanted a really good um, show on our Sunday that, um, to uh, pretty much embrace the Lord. And so I put together a program and uh, you came along and you do uh, Christian music. Is that correct? That's, that's correct. My, my show, Praise the Lord, is a combination of uh, Southern gospel music, bluegrass uh, gospel music, uh, Christian country music. Uh, with a little twist, uh, if you listen to some of the other shows, my show, what I do on mine is I throw uh, some very uh, clean comedy cuts into my show, about two minutes long or so. Mm -hmm. And uh, I also have some, uh, a little bit of uh, comedy from Lifeline Productions, which is a very good uh, source for me. And they're uh, very funny with, uh, without, uh, with getting the point across. And uh, we have a good time on the show, and uh, it's I, I enjoy doing it, and uh, I've been getting a lot of people that say that they like it also. So, uh, so far, so good. It's going really well. Yeah. How long have you doing, I've been doing Praise the Lord? I think I've gone back as far as 2012, I believe, uh, wow. about that long. And uh, so th some of the music do you use, do you use um, uh, new artists? Because it seems like it, um, I, I've heard you bring up that you have a lot of new artists on your show. I subscribe to a uh, different sources. One of the sources is called Airplay Direct. The other one is called Crossroads Music. And what these are, are these are for radio stations or for people who produce shows and they belong to a radio station or they are affiliated with a radio station and then uh, the artists uh, upload their music to this site and then you go in with your password and uh, you listen to the songs and you pick what you want and then uh, you could download it to your own computer which is what I do and then next thing you know it's uh, it's on Good Talk Radio the next Sunday. <laughs> yeah. So what's the name of that site again? Uh, there's Crossroads Music. Crossroads Music. Yeah, and there's another one called Airplay Direct. And uh, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll be sure to um, send you those links here uh, after we're done, and uh, you'll have them there. And uh, the very good source, not only Christian music, but some of them have um, – all kind of genres of music so that would be of interest to almost any radio station there's no fee no charge all you have to do is go in and they may ask you um, what the call letters are of your radio station and of course today if you're not have call letters if you're a streaming station that's okay too they'll probably sign you up gotcha so uh you must um you must have been in radio for a while because uh, since you and I connected, and I, I have a radio station, um, through the years that we've known each other, we've uh, you've constantly kind of always had contacts with a lot of other 
radio hosts and DJs. And so uh, how, how did you get intermingled with so many different people? I'm sorry, we kind of faded oh. out there. Robert. Say it again. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I know you're really involved in, in, you've been in, you must have been in radio for a while because you've connected us with a lot of other DJs and a lot of other um, radio shows. And it's like, how, how did you meet all these people? Well, that was just an idea of my own. I figured that I would put together a radio program and uh, then just go out and try and fill the needs of some of these little radio stations that were looking for programming. And for me to be able to do that, uh, I would have to make it a generic nature. In other words, I couldn't fashion it around Good Talk Radio alone because uh, my station in Texas would not know what I was talking about when I talk about Good Talk Radio. So yeah. I have to make it a generic show. But that being said, I always try to give credit. Uh, I always say on my program, please be sure to contact this radio station and let them know that you enjoy Praise the Lord and all the other great programming that they have to offer. Um, you have to give back to these stations uh, to thank them for uh, carrying their program because it takes them a lot of time to download the shows, to program the shows, uh, to give up all the all that they do to put you on the air. And I, I appreciate that. Uh, right now I'm up to 20 radio stations, which wow. really is not a whole lot. There's guys out there that uh, have syndicated programs uh, and uh, they're, they're up there pretty good in the forties and fifties, as far as radio stations carrying their programs. Yeah. So how long have you been doing this, been doing radio? Well, uh, <clears throat> um, interesting story there. In 1972, when I was in high school, I did research on what I would like to do, and that was radio. Uh, come to find out that uh, the future of radio was not too bright, even in 1972 because of automation right. and uh, other factors. And uh, they were correct. Uh, they, it didn't work out that well. But I did go to Columbia School Broadcasting. Got a job in Cory, Pennsylvania. Stayed there for a short time and then actually got out of the business. Uh, then in 2005, a friend of mine says, hey, the local radio station, the Baptist Church down here is getting a radio station, low power FM radio station. Would you like to go, you know, help them out with it a little bit? And I says, well, I could do that. So we did basketball, football, and all kinds of sports. And uh, then they went under, and uh, I've been kind of floating around, joining different um, radio stations around my area. And uh, now I also, as I said, I record my show, and then I send it out to radio stations that would be interested in using it for some of their programming needs. So that's yes. how that's how basically I got started. Uh, some 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 radio stations say. Yes, some say no, it's too much work. We only want local programming, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Which is so what, what would you, um, what, what motivates you to do this? It's a, it's a hobby pretty much. And like I said, I, I do enjoy my, enjoy doing the shows. And uh, on the rare occasions, you do get feedback from someone in the public that listen to your shows and they enjoy it. Uh, mostly you get feedback from uh, the radio station um, owners, managers, program directors. Uh, heaven forbid that I would forget to upload a show and it's like my email box is full. You know, it's like, hey, Don, where's your show at? You know, <laughs> yep, I've done which, that too. Uh, kind of makes me feel good because it's like, oh, oh, okay, you missed me. Yeah, I, I mean, I've done stupid things like I'll I'll go through and upload everything I need to upload, but I didn't put a sound file in there. And it's like, you can click <laughs> on it, but there's no file there, you know? So it's like, what's yeah, going on here? That's happened. <laughs> 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 so um, if, um, if you, you know, and I try to motivate people to get into radio or do podcasts or do radio shows. Right. Um, what are some of the um, oh, inspiration or, uh, or, 
or uh, guidance you would give someone who wanted to do something like this? Well, I kind of relate this to low power FM radio. Um, a lot of these people out there are putting together low power FM radio stations and they think they're going to get people to commit to come in and do a morning show, do an afternoon show, do an evening show. And it's just not physically possible. Number one, it sounds like a lot of fun and it is, but there's a lot of commitment involved. I mean, whether you're feeling good, bad or indifferent, you have to get on that microphone and you have to put the show together because there's people counting on you, excuse me, and you have to get the show done. That becomes a job. And it, it, it maybe in times you don't feel like doing that, but you have to do that. I've seen so many people start a show and it's like three months down the road, they're gone. Yeah. they just couldn't they can't do it it's too much work you know it's like why am i why am i doing this i'm doing this for nothing you know mm -hmm. so i would say that if you are really considering this uh, yes just realize that it's going to take a lot of work and uh it's you know there's going to be times when it's just not going to you don't feel like doing it but you have to do it if you're going to supply these shows to the radio stations out there. Yeah, you know, that's how uh, you brought up a great thing because every time I do a show like this with especially a radio host, um, I always want to make sure that they understand like they understand your side of things and also understand my side of things as far as the radio uh, stations. And you really nailed it. Um, uh, there has been times I've had new shows come on and then pretty soon I, it seems like I'm begging for their files and pretty soon it's like, Oh, they're, they couldn't do a show this week and it gets worse and worse and worse. And um, then I've got folks that have been on radio forever and never miss a beat uh, like yourself, uh, Joe Messino, Sons of Liberty. I get all these shows and they've been doing this for years and they never skip a beat. I mean, I always can count on having my files and having a show if I don't get a show from you, it's because you made a mistake on the computer. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, I want to get my shows out there. Uh, as you're mentioning, sometimes I've, I've only had this happen recently. Sometimes it does go the other way, though. I had a radio station that uh, pulled my program, which is fine. Don't get me wrong. It's fine. But they failed to contact me and say, you know, we really enjoyed your program over the years, but we have changed formats and we decide to go in a different direction. That would have been fine. But I come to find out that they didn't contact me at all. And so I could understand how you would feel too, if you're, you're waiting on these files and they don't show up and it's like, you know, Hey, you know, you got to let me know. Yeah. And uh, preferably I would tell people, let them know two weeks in advance. Uh, if I was going to, if I was going to shut down, I would, I would definitely contact you two weeks in advance you know, and let you know that, you know, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm finished, I'm done, but um, things happen and uh, Hey, you know, forgive and forget and let's move on. Yeah. So, um, you know, of all the niche niches out there and things you could have, what, what's, why has praise the Lord been your pride and joy? Well, I, I kind of started off with that at that little Baptist church. And I can't even remember the, the show's name uh, at the time, but it was kind of based on that show. And uh, I just kind of con continued in that genre. Uh, I've often thought about the sure I could, I could switch and I could switch very easily um, to another genre. I was thinking about maybe something that I would, like to do would be like old classic country or um, uh, maybe oldies, but there's a lot of guys out there doing oldies. So it would take some thought and preparation and consideration, but um, that was one of the um, things that I had to consider. Actually, uh, sometimes you have a problem with what I, I have a problem with what I do, or I should say radio stations have a problem with what I do because I've had radio stations come out and directly tell me that we don't air religious programs on our station. Somehow they think there's a group 
of people out there, listeners that would be offended by that. Uh, and bad. they don't want any kind of a religious show on the radio station, which is, hey, this is America. That's their right. And uh, But it, I would tell people that if you do get into this, it doesn't hurt to ask. And uh, what's the worst they can say? They can say no. Yep. Uh, give them a place that they could go to, listen to your show, and uh, they'll consider it. And if it fits their format or, uh, you know, they'll, they'll use it and uh, they'll contact you and tell you that they would like to use it. Now, I'm pretty much pigeonholed into Sundays or uh, Sunday morning, Sunday afternoon, Sunday evenings. But I, I tell radio stations, if you feel the need, uh, put me on any time, put me on at three o'clock in the morning if you like, because let's face it, uh, you guys are streaming and uh, you are you go out all over the world. So if it's Arizona time or it's East Coast time, it doesn't matter because if you're streaming, you're, you know, my show's going out probably in the middle of the day somewhere. Yeah. Um, so um, that's, that's how I, you know, how I look at it. So, um, but it's, 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 fun. it's been fun and uh, I'm, I'm ha still having fun. I'm recorded up till right now, St. Patrick's day, believe it or not, I record in advance. Yeah. So um, I have uh, a lot of archives also. So, in case that rare thing comes up, I'm in the hospital for three weeks or something, then uh, I can still get to shows because I'm, uh, I'm on audio somewhere. Yeah. You know, I get a kick out of, uh, you, you kind of hit a, an area that uh, is kind of interesting on our radio station mm -hmm. is we just loaded another, um, sh we were just approached by another show and I could tell when I first contacted them that, it's a show like yours where some people could be offended. And the particular show I just put on and it uh, comes on at midnight is called lock and load. It's all about your gun rights. Oh yes. Uh. And so I, it's funny when they approach me, I don't think nothing of it. I'm going, yeah, I want every kind of, even if you're a liberal, uh -huh. you had think a good show. I want to hear that too. Cause I'm kind of old school like you. We are, we grew up with being able to have different opinions and still get along. And so it, it's refreshing to people like you and it's refreshing to the guy I just signed on um, because it's like, I didn't think nothing of it. It was like, yeah, I'd love to have a gun show. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, what? <laughs> Cause you could tell he had to go through the same PC environment that you do. Um, and so it's very refreshing to people like you and others like him that freedom of speech is definitely in our show. And if there's someone's offended, I just tell them, turn the station. <laughs> well, that's all you can do. And, and I, I totally agree with him on uh, that subject. Uh, I'm an, I'm an avid hunter in, in, in my state of Pennsylvania and Lord knows we have enough woods around here and we have enough deer around here. We're hitting them with cars every day. <laughs> and uh so i i don't feel bad about uh going out and shooting one if i have the proper licensing and stuff and uh, uh but uh i'm 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 on the i think i think the gun issue is just well i don't want to get into a whole lot of that but yeah. uh, <laughs> yeah, we, <laughs> uh but yeah it is it is refreshing to have someone and and it, it's you're gonna probably run into the situation where you're going to have the anti-gun folks approach you and oh, yeah. want to put a program on also, you know, That's, which is fine. Um, Same, you know. As long as, it, as long as it's a good show yeah. and it, and it, and it right. embraces right. everybody's opinions. That's what I like. So on your show, praise the Lord. Uh, I know a lot of people would have a stereotype thinking it's going to be um, um, um. Absolutely. <laughs> And Absolutely. so I, I want to make sure you guys understand. Let's get past that right now. Praise the Lord has a variety of, uh, would you call it genders as far as it right. could be rock. It could be easy listening. It yeah. could be gospel. Mm -hmm. And right. so uh, uh, what are you finding nowadays when it comes to Christian music? 
that's becoming a little more popular? Are you finding more young people or older people? Or you, you know, know I, I really, I, I really should because I'm, I'm just kind of stuck in a quandary. The music I play probably appeals to the more older folks, uh, not like you, but the older folks like me. <laughs> <laughs> and then Southern gospel, blue bluegrass gospel, and uh, I like bluegrass. And and, and I think, unfortunately, today. The contemporary Christian music is a lot more popular. It's a lot faster. It appeals to a lot of the younger people. And the problem is they're used to the new technology and how to do things and how to, I don't think I could talk to a senior and say, well, you know, you can go onto the computer and listen to my show and download it. It's like, they'll look at you like, I have no idea what you're talking about, (laughs) you know? So that that in that way I have a disadvantage and I've 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 thought of going to contemporary Christian music but uh, I just never made the leap. Not, you know, not that there's anything wrong with it or anything, and it's it's very very popular. The ratings on it are very high. Yeah. But um, I'm gonna, I guess, stuck in my same old ways, and I'm just gonna stay where I'm at for now. Yeah, I guess us old schoolers, you know, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm kind of in the middle where I, I enjoy that kind of stuff. And I do embrace the new stuff. And mm-hmm. um, I mean, I can bang my head as much as those young people, except I might hurt myself. But yeah. uh, um, my, my thing is, I don't do a lot of talking on my show, but I miss the days of when the uh, the announcer, the disc jockey was a little more entertaining. And with me, it's not so much with I'm entertaining people, but I think the material I choose entertains them, and that gives me an edge. I put on very good comedians. I put on very good music, and uh, they carry the show for me, and all I do is I announce songs, basically, is all I do. So if you make people feel that they're comfortable listening to your show and you thank them for listening to your show and and they feel that they are you know you're a part of their show and you know you're with them um they're they're going to come back and uh, they're going to listen to you again yeah I but agree. that that was lost in the 70s with the super jocks of the big cities where you used to have a jock come in and uh in the morning do a morning show afternoon show evening show now it's all just playlists all the way through from morning till night. And it drives me crazy. Yeah. Um, we, uh, I, I still, to this day, I constantly got to explain to people. It's like, you know, we have certain restrictions because we're using software and we're planned out and, and uh, uh, our programming has to meet a certain deadline as far as time and stuff like that. And mm-hmm. I still get folks that just like, well, I don't understand that. Why can't I just do a show as long as I want, whenever I want? And it's like, eh, <laughs> we're automated. This is how it is. You know, it's uh, how things work. Because we're automated, I guess it's because more people or more companies like my own can actually have radio stations and and create them the way we envision envision them to be. And it's not that costly anymore and because of automation. But, uh, yes, the... I agree that we've lost a little bit of that customization of that relationship and, with the radio and station. I, and I, I understand it like any business. I mean, you got to look where to cut. So if you can cut that uh, morning jock out at a certain, you know, put music in there and cut the afternoon jock, it's, it's all economics. Sure. Uh, but I, I do miss uh, the disc jockeys of my teenage years listening to them just going crazy there playing the music that you love and they're cracking jokes and they're, they're just having a good time. It sounded like a party, you know, Oh yeah. you yeah, turn yeah. the radio on now and it's like, Oh man, it's, it's just, I mean, good music. If you like that style of music, but there's nothing there. It's just like song after song after song. And uh, I, like I said, I, I guess I am nostalgic for the old days when you had someone that would actually talk to you yeah. and put on a show for you. I, I and agree. and make you feel like you're you're part of something, you know. Yeah. So, uh, what's Don Suhan gonna? Do you have any special or some new uh, adventures in the future for radio? 
Well, in in right now, radio is is kind of a thing that um, I'm still doing what I'm doing, but the, the future is going to be in uh, audio and video streaming, believe it or not. Mm. And uh, right now, as a matter of fact, tonight I'm, I have we have to go and videotape a interview, believe it or not, with a high school softball coach because we are starting to <coughs> videotape video i shouldn't say videotape but we should be going to video the games of a local high school uh team in my town we're going to do all 20 games so that's something new that we ha- has never been done in our school school district that i know of mm-hmm. so uh the team that i've put together i i won't be actually on the air but uh, they will be doing on the all air work and stuff like that and i'll be running and getting them coffee and stuff but Uh, We're going to start tonight by um, uh, interviewing the coach of the softball team. And uh, then after that, we're going to jump right in, get up in the press box, and we're going to start putting these um, games together, and they're going to end up on YouTube. And uh, and I think that will uh, be a real asset to the community. They could go go back in. And I envision it as 10 years five years, 10 years down the road, these girls are, you know, going along with their career, they're married, whatever the case may be, and they could go back to YouTube and they could watch those. Yeah. Yeah, That would be so cool, I think. And and my granddaughter is one of the players. So I think that that would be great when, you know, I could, she could go in there and pull that up and she could show her, her children, her playing softball in high school. Yeah. That would, that would be so great, you know. Well, hey, I'm going to start wrapping this up. However, right. I want to make sure that people know that uh, Praise the Lord is uh, is in several places. And, uh, of course, on Good Talk Radio. But in our description is links to Don's uh, um, playlist or his websites where his show plays. And you can determine your own schedule when you'd like to listen to uh, Don's show. Um, it's basically a, uh, it's called praise the Lord. It's, uh, not told. I mean, it's not told. I, I guess I kind of reword, I have to reword that a little bit. It's not a total Christian music show, but it's, um, how would you define it? Well, it, it's, it's a show where, um, <clears throat> I, you get the point across the love of God and, um, but, we're not going to hit you over the head with the Bible or anything. It's, it's a fun show. Uh, I truly believe uh, God has a sense of humor. I mean, uh, he made me, so he has to have a sense of <laughs> me humor. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a lot of fun on the show. And uh, at the same time, we do just like the show says. We praise the Lord and thank him for everything he's given us, and everything he will give us in the future for being with us when times are hard. Um, and uh, that's basically the whole concept of the show. Um, it's, come on, folks. It's not, take yourself so seriously here. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, uh, like I said, I think God has a sense of humor. And, and uh, at the same time, um, we take his word uh, very seriously. Yeah. And, you know, on a personal note, um, Don has been uh, a good model and a good friend to us. And, and also uh, supporting our radio station. And um, sometimes the good people like Don get kind of skipped by. You don't realize, you know, he just constantly is kind of, I feel like you watch over us sometimes. And I, um, I, I just want to thank you for our friendship and what you've done for our radio station. <clears throat> and, uh, uh, and you do it very humbly. And I really appreciate I just want to personally make sure that you understand how much we appreciate you. And I thank you very much. And what you do is to us is important because uh, uh, we want to fight the fight as far as keeping uh, uh, our uh, freedom of of religion going and freedom of speech and, uh, and then, but still be human and have fun together and embrace each other. And uh, you're one of those great examples of a great person. Well, thank you very much. You know, Rob, 
it's been my pleasure and, and my continuing pleasure to be a part of Good Talk Radio. Um, I try to contact all the radio station program directors and and others who um, help me in this endeavor and make mm -hmm. sure that uh, I'm I'm getting them what they need and uh, make sure that we're working in a partnership. After all, as I said, although I produce the program, uh, I know that they have a lot of work on their end and it costs them a lot of money to put me on the air. So I wanna try and give them the very best product that I can give them so that they can increase their listenership. And if, if I can do that and uh, we can draw more people to your station because of my program, then my job is, is done. And, um, but I do appreciate the opportunity. It, it, um, there are people that uh, believe in the program and some people don't, but uh, again, that's fine. Um, we're happy with where we're at and, and uh, we'll continue on. Yeah, well, you'll be with us as long as we all do this. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, hey, Don, thank you so much for interviewing with us. Um, thank you for just being Don, and thank you for what you do for people, for our Lord, for just being a good example of a great human being, and I do appreciate that. Okay, thank you very much, Rob, and uh, as I always say, until we meet again, <laughs> let's just praise the Lord. You betcha. Well, hey, thanks again, and have a great day. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.